This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's another uh, Thursday and another episode of Openly Hostile Opinions. Uh, I'm Jay. That's Casey. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Mm. <laughs> you know, I love how you keep asking that like we expect a response. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need a response. You tell me how you're doing today, damn it, motherfuckers. <laughs> Our studio audience is apparently pleased. Yes, I want to know. I want to know how your sexual healing is doing. <laughs> Sexual healing. Such a good song. I fucking love it. Mm. Well, it. S- speaking <laughs> of sexual healing, today. <laughs> we've got Arrogant Bastard Ale from Arrogant Brewing Company. I bought it mostly because uh, uh, we're a couple of arrogant bastards and yeah. I figured it'd be appropriate. <laughs> You arrogant fuck. (laughs) I mean, we're arrogant enough to decide that people actually want to hear what our opinions are. I I like the uh, bottom there. It says you're not worthy. (laughs) I like like the little devil with the beer stein. Yeah. Did you get this at Wise's? Yeah, I got it at Wise's. I'm surprised they sold this. Wise's is run by a bunch of Jewish people. (laughs) What the hell does that have to do with anything? Jewish people don't like Satan. (laughs) Look at that motherfucker. He's angry. He's like, you better drink this beer. I'm going to fucking devil fuck you in the ass. I don't think Christian people like Satan either, but, uh, you know. Uh, why is this isn't run by a bunch of Christians? <laughs> They're run by the people that killed Jesus. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> Let's start offending everyone today. <laughs> actually, it's pretty fucked up. Hitler, uh, <laughs> Hitler used that. Actually, to get a lot of people mad, <laughs> he's like he was already getting people to hate, you know, Jews and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, he was like, "Well, they killed Jesus." <laughs> I was like, "Hitler, you, uh, it's like one you of weren't those- <laughs> like anything because you weren't born yet." <laughs> but it's just like it's like, oh, you crafty devil, you. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. To me. Well, moving right along, <laughs> let's try our beer, shall we? Yes, let's go ahead. I think this is gonna be very strong and kick our ass. It's not bad. It's no. a it's an American strong ale. It's got a seven point two alcohol. Mm-hmm. It ain't bad. It's yeah, malty. it has a lot more taste than last year. Uh, last year, <laughs> last week's beer. Last week's beer. It sort of reminds me of last week's beer a little bit, but I think this has more of an aftertaste. Yeah, it's got a lot of that toasted, malty, caramely. Yeah, and then at the end, there's a lot of hoppy. Yeah, hop kind of kicks you in the teeth afterwards. It's, yeah. Uh, it's got a definite like uh, bitterness to it. It ain't bad. No, it's not bad at all. I would. It's but it's not something you sit and drink a twelve pack of. No, you'll be, you'll be fucking. You know, seeing. you'll be seeing the devil. He'll come yeah, talk to you yeah. off the label. He'd be like, "Why'd you go to Wise's? I hate that place." <laughs> yeah, for people that are darn around this area, Wise's is like our local grocery store. <laughs> and Pennsylvania is so far behind the times. They just started selling alcohol. In grocery stores. <laughs> and it's not even... It, it's through a legal loophole that they're even doing it. Yeah. Uh, because they, they sell prepared foods, and they're mm-hmm. basically applying for a liquor license as a restaurant. Yeah. And if you go in here, they uh, in the Wises and stuff like that, they made this little area, and it sort of looks like a restaurant. They have seats. They have pizza. to. There has to be yeah. seating. There has to be seating. So, yeah. Good job, Wises. I'm glad that... Way to you know, skirt the laws. Yeah. I'm glad you're you know getting out of the 1800s. <laughs> And getting, you know, selling beer. Holy fuck, man. It took forever. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. How fucking about it? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Pennsylvania's ar- ar- archaic fucking liquor laws. Yeah. Oh, man. Pennsylvania's so weird. Such a weird fucking state. And I, I think I've previously said this, but it's just like, we're in the north, but we're so backwards. <laughs> we are so backwards up here, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, put put some noise of fucking your sister in there, and then that's Pennsylvania for you. <laughs> Come here, birdies! <laughs> I yeah. told you to get my bear! <laughs> my I, bush. I got wood to chop! 
and it's pretty funny. Like, you know, I've always heard Bush beer and everything like that, but out here they have Bush Light. <laughs> That, that's pretty shocking. sure they have that everywhere. No, no, no I never heard of it until I came out here. I never heard of Bush Light until I came out here. And then there's another place that my brother took me a couple years back, and they had Bush Light bottles. <laughs> I'd rather have no Bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so does our guy down the street. <laughs> he gone now. Oh, he, did he go today? He was was it today? He was supposed to. Oh, man, finally. The child molester. Over a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for people first watching, uh, my town that I live in, we have a child molester here, and he's been out of jail for what, a year maybe? Well, he, he admitted to it a year ago and mm-hmm. uh, finally went to prison. <laughs> yeah, finally. You finally. Know, you get a speeding ticket, you're fucking, you know, batshit hell if you don't pay it, but you're a child molester. Hey, roam free for a year. And yeah, it's funny. Show, show up at my kid's uh, Christmas pageant. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, they Not let that him that into the my school. My kid's exclusive. You know, whatever. He's following kids to the bathroom. No one cares. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus, I'm awful coffee today. <laughs> oh, good. Speaking of coffee, where the fuck did I put mine? Oh, oh hey, no look, it's back here. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I used to drink coffee in this show, but not anymore, man. Ugh, beer and coffee. I, <laughs> I was wondering why you stopped drinking the coffee. Just the toilet, man. I felt bad for the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> this place does have some strong plumbing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, that coffee and beer would just go right through me. And I'd be like, I'm sorry, Mr. Toilet. <laughs> I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> hey, so uh, since you're watching this on Thursday, uh, I just wanted to say we uploaded a uh, new Wired Wednesday yesterday. You should definitely watch that. Check it out. Um Little cross promotion there. How about that shit? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Nice and smooth. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since we've done that. I just wanted to take a second to uh, update y'all on it. Uh, for those of you on the audio only podcast, we do a show uh, some Wednesdays. Not every single one, but it depends on whether we have something good to talk about. Uh, Wired Wednesday, we do. It's uh, sort of us geeking out about various things. This week, we discussed a, a topic that we should all be talking about right now, and that's called net neutrality. Leave uh, the net alone, you fox. <laughs> yeah, so so if you want to know what the hell that's all about, and I swear to you it's more interesting than what the name <laughs> gives off, even though it sounds like something that you, you, know, you picked out of your dryer. Yeah, you don't have to be a virgin to like technology. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who are into that sort of thing, you might want to check that out. We're, we're planning on doing a couple other, uh, other shows as well. We are a content network, not just a podcast, so there's some other things coming on down the pipes. So keep your eyes peeled and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that's where we'll be doing a lot of our other content outside of the podcast. So, mm-hmm. And speaking of podcasts, this is funny that you said this. I am still, still seeing this Richard Simmons bullshit. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my God. I thought, they, I thought it was over. I know, but people are obsessed with it. There are so many podcasts on it. There is podcasts now covering why there's so many podcasts on it. <laughs> It's like it's so meta. I know, so brutal. <laughs> I just leave uh, the poor little. I know, man. If he wants to float around like a fairy and do his own thing, whatever. Leave him alone. Oh man, he's entertained you all for like thirty-five years. Oh, he still Let entertains me, man. I just look at him. <laughs> he doesn't have to say anything. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> just because he looks like gay Bob Ross doesn't mean <laughs> yeah, that's. Hey man, but you know lost. what? The internet's obsessed with afros. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it probably is. I don't. I have no fucking clue what it is, but just. Uh. But Richard Simmons lost a lot of weight. So good for you, buddy. You know, you're not one of those pieces of shit that just gets jealous of skinny people. You actually do something. <laughs> feminist. <clears throat> Sorry. Or your co-host. <laughs> Fuck you, skinny people. Yeah. Are you losing weight? How's the vegetarian thing going? Um. I've eaten a lot of vegetables. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get on scales. My pants fit good. <laughs> You're like, yeah, my pants fit good, whatever. Yeah. They scales don't... are your own worst enemy, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not trying to really lose weight so much as I'm trying to improve health. Yeah. And if I improve health, I'd imagine the weight thing is going to come. Mm-hmm. But uh, my doctor actually said that you can be overweight and healthy, and you can be skinny and unhealthy. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to... <laughs> yeah. Was, well, it, was this your... Um, Visectomy doctor? No. Oh, okay. Because I was like, you should do the accent. Like, hey, yo. 
<laughs> your New Jersey doctor accent. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's where he came from because yeah. that's exactly how he talked. I'm not fucking with you. Hey, let's go down to Mickey's. We'll get a sub. We'll we'll go down to the subway. We'll, we'll catch the nine fifteen. <laughs> we'll do a little snip and a little stitch, and you'll be good to go. You'll be plowing your wife all over from here to here to Timbuktu. I'll tell you, man. That reminds me because he said last week you're raw dogging your wife yet. <laughs> no, nah, not allowed to raw dog yet. Oh man. Jesus, that you know, still I, cracks me out because, like I said last <laughs> week, when I used the term raw dog, it's, it's just some whore I found or something. You're, like, talking about your wife. That cracks <laughs> me up. <laughs> like I said, if you don't fuck your wife like she's some whore once in a while, then she's going to go find another dick. Anyway. I hope she doesn't listen to that because I was, I was doing dishes last week listening to our latest episode. And when you were talking, I was like, God, Jay. <laughs> I'm giving all the fellas out here advice. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta teach, treat your lady like a dirty. I know, but I was like, what is Jay talking about? Oh, his wife. <laughs> I was like, is Jay talking about some story when he was 13? I'm like, no, nope, that's about his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, man. yeah. Speaking of the vasectomy thing, you'll find this kind of funny. So, the other day, when I went to have my recheck done, they sent me home with a little bag. I almost thought you said reach around. <laughs> Sorry, <come> no. <laughs> and that little bag had in it a plastic uh, mason jar type thing for me to deposit my seed for uh, <laughs> testing purposes. Pew, pew, pew. Right. <laughs> Any instructions. And, uh, you know, he told me 40 loads or four months. And uh, I look at the instructions because I'm thinking, eh, I'm probably up to about 40 now. I look <laughs> at it and the instructions have on there August. Oh, I'm, I'm not supposed to like turn this thing in until August. Like, I don't know how how fucking <laughs> f- infrequently people are fucking, but if it takes you from uh, you know what what I get it done, uh, uh, March, March early March, March yeah. to August yeah. to blow off forty loads, <laughs> you are not trying hard enough. <laughs> I know, dude. They must not think people have sex because <laughs> people fuck. <laughs> I mean, they am I wrong. am I that much more active than other folks? I I, I, I look at me. How am I active more than other folks? <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, and and the thing is, is like it's gonna be past forty loads, or you know what I mean. Oh, because... I'm gonna be like like a hundred and forty <laughs> by that point. Yeah, because like when when you fucking blow a load in those jars, it's gonna dry up and look like some Bob Ross painting. No, nah, I have to get it to it. <laughs> I have to get Seated it there white. within an hour. Hour. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like a you're having a baby and you gotta rush to the hospital. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just gonna do it in a parking lot. <laughs> that's what I would do. I'd be like, yo. Yo, girl. The instructions. <laughs> Give me even, an old fashioned real quick. <laughs> the instructions even say if you feel like you're not going to be able to uh, make it to the hospital on time, just come to the hospital and, and do it. No. Yeah. They have special rooms. For no, that. they don't. <laughs> oh, they I don't. asked. Oh, they don't. I I'd asked. Like, Can I see your nurse like... selection, please? <laughs> <laughs> They're also, like, well, these are what they look like. I'm like, I don't know what they want. I don't want to know what they look like. I want to know which one had the most daddy issues. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so damaged. <laughs> I can't. Help I get a lot of use out of that sound effect with you. Yeah, whatever. Well, at least we're not talking about finger donut holes today. <laughs> oh man, I don't even. Oh, I don't even know where that fucking came from last week. <laughs> I was just in a goofy mood. I guess. It's still fucking funny. <laughs> Cause you all know what I mean. <laughs> All right, Whew. my God. Yeah, it is disgusting. Yeah, but you know he's in jail, and I'm not making a shirt like that. <laughs> I know that's the thing. I want to make a shirt, but Jay doesn't want to. <laughs> no, I am not making the donut finger shirt. You I just want a fun. shirt. I don't want any. I don't want to say anything. I just want a donut on it with a finger hole. <laughs> well, we have to put our logo on there at least, or yeah, or make people our URL. Make people wonder. That's why people don't like gay people. <laughs> They're like, what is going on there? It's like, why don't you ask them? <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that. I'm kind of, that took a better turn than I thought it was going <laughs> to. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Hey, P- speaking of people not uh, minding their own fucking business, uh, did you hear about the whole Demi Lovato got a tattoo now the internet's mad at her thing? Who in the fuck's that? She's one of them little pop tarts. She started out as a, like a Disney star. How old is she, and would I do her? <laughs> uh, at least eighteen, probably. And uh, <laughs> probably. All right. How do you spell this? I want to look at this bitch. D E M I. D E M I. L O V A T O. All right. Close well... enough. Close enough. <laughs> okay. Is so... that her? Yeah, that's her. 
She's some. She looks. Uh, she looks exotic. Oh God, she has like she, the fucking side shaved thing. Yeah, oh. she doesn't anymore. She she did have. She was basically uh, the Disney Channel knockoff of like Harley. Oh really? Uh yeah. Okay, for anyone that's watching on YouTube, I guess that's what she looks like. Well, nice t- well, I guess while you're <laughs> at it, type in uh, type in lion tattoo, so we'll bring that up then. Lion tattoo. Yeah, so she got a lion tattoo on her hand. And what the fuck is the big deal? <laughs> well, the, the the big deal is apparently there's a couple other people, mm-hmm. like Justin Bieber, for example, has a fuck lion Justin tattoo. Bieber. Well, yeah, fucking queer. <laughs> but but apparently Demi Lovato must be. In fact, there's a picture that shows her tattoo right there next to Justin Bieber. Go, oh, okay. go to that one. I'll look at that one right quick. Yeah, right there, upper right hand corner. You see it? That's nah, not that big, but yeah, whatever. You'll, you'll get the idea. Yeah. So uh, apparently Justin Bieber has a tattoo of a lion on his chest because apparently. When uh, one person gets something tattooed on them, no one else is allowed to. <laughs> and th- this is why, like, I just, I, kn- I understand why a lot of older people are like these fucking kids today. Because it's just the older I'm getting, the more shit just doesn't make sense. The, the whole idea of trying to be cool and fit in makes no fucking sense to me. At all. It just doesn't. I don't understand it. It's like, who fucking cares? <laughs> she likes lions. She got a tattoo of a lion. Now she's now she's posing. And a woman. And she's a woman, so she's always lying. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> I had to throw the woman hating in there somehow. <laughs> well, like, look, I got I got a ship tattooed on me now. Is everybody oh, you ripped got, off. I ripped, ripped off, off everybody who's ever gotten a ship yep. tattooed you on. You ripped off Jack... Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I, I have a swallow here. <laughs> swallowing, lo- swallowing those 40 loads. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense to me. <laughs> like, I didn't... Like, when I was younger, I didn't really care to fit in. I, whatever. I, I talked to people all the time and stuff, so I just fit in, whatever. I smoked cigarettes, I drank. Uh... You know, and people were, like, sort of scared of me. I don't know. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and exactly. fuck my sister. And people are still scared of me a little bit because I do look like a pedophile. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Whatever. She got a fucking lion tattoo. Get the fuck over it. Where Mine's... is this show going today? I don't fucking know. That's why we have a show, me mateys. <laughs> we should have a show where we just talk like pirates. The whole fucking show. <laughs> that, would, that would be awesome. Because I love pirates. <laughs> I love them a lot. Because I just, there's something about smelling like shit and robbing people. <laughs> there was actually a video that reminds me of a video that someone posted about how all, I remember when uh, Pirates of the Caribbean came out, everyone was obsessed with Johnny Depp and then you're like, he's so hot and stuff like that, and blah, blah, blah. Well, someone made a video about, you know, if a woman actually got the chance to sleep with him and she's like taking off his clothes, she's like, what's that smell? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> he's like, like, that was SNL. Yeah. Something like, he's like, he's like, oh, that's salt water in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great stuff. No, those movies are awesome. Actually, they're just coming out with another one, surprising not. No, the first one is awesome, and then they got really off track. Yeah, it did. The they mo- made money, the and movie, that's the thing. The movies have, did the best when Jack Sparrow was a supporting car- character. Mm-hmm. Not the whole movie. God damn it. Here we go with it. You fucking, you fucking hacking shit, and I yawn constantly. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to rate the beer. <laughs> Again, know. we were, I forgot to rate the beer. I don't know why, but I'm going to get this beer. Four out of five Chewbacca's. <laughs> All right. Moving on. What do you got for us today? Um, So I wanted to cover this because I just, I don't know where this is coming from. I, I've heard it all the time like that. And a lot of celebrities, a lot of rappers, which, you know, you should respect rappers because their music's great these days. But Shaquille O'Neal, I guess, came out and he's one of these people that I think the world is flat. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Uh, the headline here is Shaquille O'Neal, the world is flat, and satellite imagery is fake. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. O'Neal. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what? However, were we, <laughs> we, we, were we made to believe the, these falsities? Mm-hmm. Dr. O'Neal is here to save the day. Hey, maybe we should believe him. He's really tall. Maybe he sees something we don't. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker. <I> can, <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I can stand on the poles and see across to the other pole. Oh, the man. earth is flat. <laughs> That's pretty good. That sounds like him. Big dumbass. <laughs> um, oh, he does a podcast, I guess. Uh, of course he does. <laughs> Podcaster in these yeah, days, I guess. Yes, because... Uh, Who fucking does them? 
<laughs> <laughs> because you have to be intelligent to do a podcast. Yeah, I know. Jeez, I think we proved right. that is not the case. <laughs> We're just a couple of arrogant bastards. Yeah. <laughs> um. So his reasoning is just fucking funny. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Uh, so listen, I drive from coast to coast, and this shit is flat to me. <laughs> He continues, I drive from Florida to California all the time, and it's flat to me. I do not go up and down at a 360-degree angle, and all that stuff about gravity have you looked outside. Atlanta lately and seen all these buildings. Do you mean to tell me that China is under us? China is under us? It's not. The world is flat. <laughs> China is under us. <laughs> the world is flat. And people thought he was faking it, but I guess he's actually... I drive from New York flat. City to California. <laughs> And I don't go up and down hills. <laughs> Where's my basketball trophy? <laughs> but, somebody, give, somebody give me out twenty million for for Shaq Fu. <laughs> Shaq Fu, great game, <laughs> great game. <laughs> that was for the Sega, actually, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Yes, like we I were talking you, I was about a Sega kid. We were talking about a lot of um, uh, vi- video games and stuff like that last week. So, if you haven't heard of Shaq Fu, it is fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, we still we still got a. <laughs> Got to do our uh, our our tournament, our our Mario Kart tournament. Yes, we we do have that planned. We Mario want... Kart tournament with the T-shirt giveaway. We we'll, we got to work out the details and we'll get back to you on that. Yes, uh, because we definitely want to. So, I just want to tell you, Shaq, because I know you watch the show. <laughs> of course he does. I am gonna. Those show two motherfuckers you. are funny. <laughs> I am gonna show you something that takes no scientific. You don't need a telescope. You don't need nothing. You just need to want to to look at a lunar fucking eclipse, and you can tell the fucking Earth is round. Well, to be to be fair, <laughs> like that. Lo- like that's all I gotta say. Go fuck yourself. To be fair, he never said that it wasn't in the shape of an ellipse. He just said that it wasn't a ball. Oh my god, Jay! Are it you wasn't, taking it wasn't his a side? Fear? Are you taking his side? <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying that doesn't prove that the Earth is a sphere. It just proves it's round. So you're telling me that the world is so flat, or is flat and perfectly was angled the exact right way to make a circle like that? <laughs> oh no, I'm saying that Shaq's. Nine fucking... Eleven was an inside job. <laughs> Settle down, Alex. Alex Jones over here. They're putting chemicals in the water that triggered our frogs gay. <laughs> yeah. Did you, you ever watch these idiots talk about chemtrails? Oh, I got yeah. to watch that go uh, go go get played out in front of me on <laughs> the internet the other day. What do you mean? Oh, well, you were just looking at stuff about it? Yeah, I would no, I was just on <laughs> social media and I just happened to see this conversation get started in a like picture of normal clouds and it goes, You can't tell me that this was a natural occurrence. Those had to be chemtrails. Like, oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) I actually, big surprise, but I do believe they're putting stuff in our air, but I don't know how to prove it. It just doesn't surprise me. Well, it's one thing to figure, yeah, probably. Yeah. But it's another thing to go, look at these pictures. These are indisputable proof. Yeah, I know. I know. People are stupid. Yeah. (laughs) And Shaq, the world's not flat. I know you're probably just trying to make a big deal like the Cash Me Outside girl. (laughs) <laughs> the, the earth is round like a basketball <laughs> yeah, I know. that's why i was like why is he why does he not want it to be round i thought he likes basketball but that's probably why he's doing this he's washed up he's you know not doing anything besides uh you know general insurance company commercials <laughs> when i was younger yeah, and icy hot commercials so i think he's trying to make a big deal to you know Get his get his name in the news again because I don't think it's been in it lately. <laughs> it's probably for the best by the sounds of things. Yeah, you're you're fucking stupid. Play basketball. That's what you get paid for. Not to talk. <laughs> Money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Way back from our first episode, rape Santa. Yeah. <laughs> God, that episode was god awful. Oh I my god, I one. watched it. I was like. Whose idea was this? <laughs> I brought it up, but you had already thought of it prior to my bringing it up. So yeah, I, I, just, I will call it a group effort. I watched that episode, or I watched two seconds of it before I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> and we've come a long way, a really long way. But hey, that's how, well, yeah, that's you, how know, you get the bugs out. Like I said back then, when we we just got to rip the Band-Aid off and start, and we'll figure it out, we'll find mm-hmm. our voice. And if anybody goes back and watches the first episodes, God, we've gotten better. Please don't hold yeah. us. Yeah, please don't hold, <laughs> don't hold it. Don't hold it against us. If I had a hot body, would you hold it against me? <laughs> 
Fucking Joe Dirt. I love him. <laughs> True American legend. I don't like the second one, though. I oh, would... it's got awful. Yeah, it, it's not good at all. They I, com- I didn't know what they and were they going. Had, they, they, they made Joe Dirt swear a bunch of times. I know. It, which was just so like, not his yeah, character. I was like, that's not Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt's like all like he's a passive. Child. And yeah, and just like life's a garden. Dig it. He, you know? he's, he's so childlike. They're like, he wouldn't be out there like saying fucking shit. Yeah. That's, that's for us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't have no in your heart. Yeah. I know, like, he was all inspirational shit in the first one, and then the second one, he's saying the F word, he's, like, time traveling and shit, and I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> that is completely irrelevant to anything, but I felt like playing it. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, man, that reminds me, we, we don't really have any holidays coming up, do we? Except yeah, Mother's well, I- Day. Hell, we've pretty much ignored all the holidays recently. We haven't done a holiday special in a while. We could have done Easter, but uh, oh, yeah. the fuck are we going to do? Talk about bunny shitting out eggs and shit? <laughs> and like Jesus. Zombie Jesus. <laughs> Zombie Jesus. Yeah. There, there's discussions on the internet about... Uh, since Jesus was resurrected from the dead, he was actually a zombie. <laughs> you know? Hard we, to argue with the logic. Yeah, I know. There's some logic there, but, you know, we could be using the internet to, you know, help feed people or, you know, help change the world. But, no, let's talk about Jesus zombie. Zombie Jesus. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I still haven't watched Shy Zombie yet. Yeah, me neither. I, well, I haven't watched last week. You've seen the first week's. episode, haven't you? You said. Oh, I saw the first two. First two. Three, maybe. I, I haven't watched last week's or the week or, or this week's yet. Uh, does she still look ravishing in it? Of course. Oh, God. I do so many things to her. Loves the zombie makeup. Yeah. What's what's her name again? Uh, Rose Mc, McIver. 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 She related to McIver. <laughs> Rose, Rose something or other. Iver. <laughs> Sounds like something on a fucking McDonald's menu. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's an I or an L. I really it's uh, M. Yeah, I don't know. Of course, there's Power Rangers. She was in The Hobbit? The Evidently. Fuck did, the fuck did she do in The Hobbit? I don't know. Besides, you know, make me moist. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't watch The Hobbit. Oh, you haven't? No, I, I've never watched Lord of the Rings movies either. I thought you watched The Hobbit every time you look in the mirror. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For anyone who doesn't know Jay Short. <laughs> I'm 5'5". Five five. That's we not actually, that bad. I actually thought we'd make fun of you more for being short. We have. That's like the second short joke, I think. <laughs> well, we're both sitting down. So. Yeah, I know. You can't really tell. But, um, yeah, Rose McIver. Or Rick, McIver, I don't yeah. know which. Yeah, this is what she looks like, and she's a, a ravishing. <laughs> she's foxy, foxy. Yeah, and anyone that hasn't watched this show, she's basically a zombie, but zombies can fit in. They sort of look like a zombie, but not really. As you tell me this picture, this is her, like, zombie mode. Not mode, but she's like a zombie, and um, she eats brains, but the, the problem is, is when she does eat brains, she takes on their characteristics. So she uh, eats these victims' brains because she's a morgue attendant or whatever the fuck you want to call it and uh she uses their visions and stuff that she gets from eating their brains to solve the mysteries and everything like that and it's on the cw and it's actually a pretty good show like i don't watch a lot of the shit. cw has been really kicking up their game ever yeah. since they brought arrow yeah and i think that's where they made a pretty ma- good amount of their money so they have time to spend this on stuff for actually like you know but this is this is a regular picture ever and i still oh. I like her better in zombie makeup. Oh, I know you do, but I'd still eat every hole on her. <laughs> donut Speaking hole. of brain eating. <laughs> I would eat her donut hole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start calling vaginas donut holes now. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? Oh, how much time do you got? <laughs> Not enough. This is only an hour show. Yeah. That's very true, very true. But, well, we uh, try to keep it an hour. Sometimes we run over. Yeah, we do. My Who ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I always wanted that t-shirt. It was like, <laughs> I ran into my ex-girlfriend the other day. I put it in reverse and ran over her again. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was a t-shirt long, long time ago. It was and like um, when Hot Topic was still scary. Sh- <laughs> reminds me of uh, reminds me of Married with Children. Did you miss me out with every bullet so far? <laughs> I love Married Show. Someone did, you know, men a good cause, and they made a uh, a, ma- a mashup of all of Al's insults, and they are just so good, man. Just so good. And they're mostly just him making fun of fat women. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it's so good, man. L look at look it up on YouTube if you want to laugh. That's it's, a huge bitch. Yeah, it's really funny, man. <laughs> Uh, There's also pretty funny uh, videos out there if you want to want to get a laugh is uh, Rob Zombie every time he says yeah in the yeah. album that's always someone good. took the time and went through every Rob Zombie I, and I think White Zombie White Zombie album, yeah and found every time he said yeah and made a video about it <laughs> like you got some time on your hands man <laughs> because editing videos I know that took a long fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> the video of uh every time rob zombie says yeah on astro creep is uh, a minute and 30 seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> of a one syllable word <laughs> it is it is almost long enough to be a song i know dude and, and the funny thing is is me and jay were just talking about that someday we're like i i guarantee you know i wonder what it would sound like if someone made a video of every time he said yeah and we just looked at each other like someone already did it <laughs> we're like they we were thinking to. about doing it yeah man. and then like someone like we you googled it real quick and it came up and we were like jesus fucking christ someone already did it <laughs> it was it was an of course they did moment yeah um so yeah moving right along after Shaq is a dumbass we're gonna talk about vaginas <laughs> or donut holes. <laughs> I'm bringing that back. I'm not bringing it back. I'm You're starting, starting it. it. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of you know, if you've watched previously, I talk about that I'm on Instagram a lot. It's just Instagram's funny to me. And I've seen uh, things about this, but I never really thought it was taking off. But I guess it is. And I'm going to show you a picture here for people watching on YouTube. But for people on the podcast, I'll try to explain it to you. They're making camel toe underwear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. And um, they're calling camel toe knickers. Knickers? Yeah. The underwear no woman needs. Yeah, apparently uh, knickers because we're from the 1920s. <laughs> hey, hey, Charlie, go down to the mall and get me some knickers. <laughs> God, women, please just be happy with your body. <laughs> but why would you want a camel toe, man? But you know what? Who cares if you do? <laughs> like, uh, women who have them are disgusted by them, and they want, they're getting surgery to have their, their parts shaved down a little bit. Now there's underwear to pad out your parts. I mean, people with. Big boobs want breast reductions. People with tiny boobs want bigger boobs. People I know, with dude. fucking blonde hair want black hair. I know, People with dude. black hair want blonde hair. People with curly hair want straight hair. People with straight hair want curly hair. <laughs> fucking stop it. I know, dude. If it's like if you're if you're overweight weight and unhealthy and you want to get thinner so you can feel better and not huff and puff going up the uh, up and down the stairs, fine. <laughs> But if it's just so that you look better naked, who gives a fuck? Because you know why? I promise you, there is somebody on this planet who wants to see you naked. Yes. No matter how weird you look, <laughs> how ugly you are, how bald and big-nosed you are, how bitch-titty you are. Don't get short with me. <laughs> how short you are, somebody wants to see you naked. Yes. Let it go. Uh-huh. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold back anymore. You know they're making a second one. Yeah, well, well they already announced it. Oh, have they? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so here's a picture. You see some, you know. Sorry, I got off on a rant there. <laughs> no, I liked it. I liked it. It made me moist. True. <laughs> I know it is. Trust me, dude. Trust me. Women are weird creatures. Is it wrong <laughs> that I kind of want to chew on those right now? <laughs> well, there's some, you know, Asian right there. <laughs> of course. Uh, she has them on. You can see right there. They look like, uh, they make you look like you're wearing mom jeans. <laughs> Showing off the vagine. Yeah, but I guess they're 25 euros. Oh, there's a better picture. Why would you want that? I just don't understand. I don't understand, man. Hey, everybody, take a look. I have a vagina. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, it bleeds. It it dices. It slices. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's for the, uh, the, 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 the trans woman who wants to uh, give the appearance of having a vagina instead of a 
<laughs> you know, instead of the, the the sausage. Oh my god! Like, look at that moose knuckle. <laughs> it's ridiculous, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, it just like it looks like it can pick up loose change. <laughs> oh, drop a nickel. <laughs> Here you go, honey. <laughs> you just see these fucking lips come down, and swipe it up, and it like flicks you to it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then it goes, "Thank you, doll." <laughs> I just I don't get this. I don't know. Like the Justin Bieber tattoo thing. I guess people are just trying to fit in. I don't know. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. But that I actually wanted to segue into something because <laughs> uh, speaking of vaginas, some guy made vagina glue. <laughs> and I'm just... Why? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really confused because I don't have a vagina, but I don't think this is how vaginas are supposed to work <laughs> what, what be the point of this particular thing basically uh let me find it here um it is supposed to be used when a woman gets her period <laughs> and so it's like turning your 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 lady parts into its own diva cup basically it just doesn't really come out it stays in there which i don't think is good for you that's probably not healthy. <laughs> I know. Isn't that how blood clots happen and all that shit? Like, I, I just it basically turns your vagina into a wine bag. <laughs> it's like the world's saddest pack of fruit snacks. <laughs> yeah, dude. Crack it open. Get, get yourself a nice, big, juicy, floppy one. <laughs> that is so disgusting. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a Ziploc bag. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the guy actually was granted a U.S. patent. So it's getting patented. Um, he has a LinkedIn page. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> and, um, he says it's made of natural compound of amino acids and oil. So and, it, it's not like fucking super gluing your vag together? No, I, I guess it is, but he said that it does dissolve with urine. So when you pee, you just sit down, you start tinkling, and it just goes away. But then you're going to have the floodgates open. <laughs> and it's going to look like you're making you're pouring tomato sauce and spaghetti. <laughs> Chef Abordi! <laughs> Thank God I didn't eat anything yet today. Oh, I had some crackers. <laughs> I should have. This beer is sitting, not sitting good in the stomach when I haven't eaten anything. Yeah, I have some crackers for you if you want some. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Ritz, Ritz peanut butter crackers. <laughs> Actually, they make Ritz peanut butter bacon crackers. and I, thought, I can't have them. <laughs> I forgot. I'm, I'm, I, I got to give you credit, though. I am surprised that you're lasting this long. <laughs> Why? I didn't, didn't really eat that much meat to begin with. Yeah, but meat's just convenient. That's, that's the thing. It is. It, it gives you something to center your meal around. Yeah, exactly. That's the hardest thing that I... That, that's the thing I'm finding the hardest to deal with, mm -hmm. is, is having something to center my... My my meal around. Yeah, because like uh, you were you had you were making something the other day, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> and I didn't realize it was like a veggie burger. But oh oh, it was my lentil burgers I made. No uh, lentil. Did someone lend it to you? <laughs> uh -huh. I use lentils because uh, they taste pretty good, and when mm -hmm. when they're all mashed up in burger form, they actually kind of look like meat. Yeah. Well, it didn't look like meat to me. After it, after it's cooked, it does. Not when it's not. Well, it did look like meat, but it looked like something that you eat in space or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the one thing I miss because I love burgers. Mm -hmm. I've always loved burgers. Like if I go out to eat, yep. I'm eating a burger. That's I what know. I'm gonna. It doesn't matter if I go to a fucking expensive ass restaurant. I'm having me a burger. I do love burgers. But you burgers know what the worst delicious. part though is you can't go to a restaurant and get a burger anymore. That's actually. Like, I like my burgers medium rare to medium, yep, okay? So do I. You yep. can't go because nobody uses fresh fucking burger anymore. Know, Everybody buys patties yeah, pre-done. I know. I hate that. I love a medium rare medium burger. Yeah, oh. and then, then then when they take Ugh. a photo, I get it. You don't get lost, mm -hmm. so you don't have to throw them out because you just pull them out of the freezer, but yep. it's, nobody ever makes them well. They're always well done, always. I know. When someone gets a burger well done, I just want to fucking cut my dick off. <laughs> Be like, eat that, you fucking bitch. <laughs> people are just so fucking spoiled yeah they are they are people people don't expand anything they get in their comfort zone and they just don't try anything else and i'm telling you anyone that's listening to this and you think you know that a medium burger or medium rare burger would be disgusting just try it i'm telling you it is fucking delicious just, just 
Yeah, I mean, just ease yourself into it. Try medium well. Let there be yeah. a little pink in there. Yeah, just a little pink. A little bit mm. of juice. Mm. A little pink in that donut hole. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, I, I think I want to do an impromptu, th- impromptu things we love moment. Okay, yeah. Go uh, right ahead. You know what? Pull up, pull up, uh, pull this up on uh, on 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 Firefox. You, start, you started saying pull. I was like, well, <laughs> "Where's Jay? Uh, you're married here, buddy." <laughs> uh, there's this uh, video that's making its rounds right now of uh, this guy. Uh, he re- recorded a song about four years ago, and it's for some reason getting viral on YouTube. It's GMC Fo Show. Fo Show. Fo Show. I want the. GMC sounds like. <laughs> well, I know his name's Gil, mm-hmm. but this guy, uh, we saw this on, on Casey saw it on Facebook. We were all seeing it. It was it was crazy. He's, uh, play the song because I'm not allowed to say what he says. Which one do you want me to play? Do you want me to play the ropes one? No, no, play the one that started it all. Oh, okay. just play part of it. Okay, just skip to the part that everybody sees. <laughs> uh, skip, skip ahead. Skip, skip ahead. Sorry. Because they've been put, putting an edited one out. Uh huh. Let's see here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, right here it is. Yeah. Went to a party. This guy's just funny. A little, little further than this is where it starts. Right here. Yeah. Really miss my nigga. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, going all around Facebook and shit right now. And uh, I did some digging because this guy's a goddamn genius. To the W. <laughs> so anyway, his songs, uh, he's GMC Fo Show, and he's got tons of songs. Go play the Ropes one. He is just hilarious. Like, I, I first seen this video because everyone's like, yo, I want this played at my funeral. <laughs> well, it's like uh, making this. Goddamn, did you grow when we got out the car? Oh, this is Shut hilarious. Up. I mean, this guy's way more popular than we are, but in case you haven't yeah, seen it, you need to watch this. It's just funny. Like, just the small that things. Was, like, cool. this is what's creative to me. Like, just the small things. Like, Old say, Bay. I don't, I don't, that is so hugs. funny to me. Like, you it's just hilarious I get to be that creative. Yeah, right. like, what, what would you <laughs> this guy's a fucking G. And you know, the funniest part <laughs> is he's a terrible rapper, but his lines are as clever as anything. I know. And it's just, check this guy out. He is so funny, and he makes these funny little videos. He raps fake on purpose, I'm thinking, because it just fits. It yeah, just like that, fits. that was great. My right hand, his name is Jerk. He's where he cuz you. Yeah, like, he just, and like this whole song, it's just about how when he skeets, he skeets ropes. <laughs> For those who don't speak street, skeeting would be ejaculating. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm, s- <laughs> I'm skeeting ropes. <laughs> It's just, it's a really, he's just really talented. He's got ton, <laughs> tons of good shit. Yeah, so just check him out. He, he's fucking He hilarious. actually can rap pretty good when he wants to. Play Boom Ba Doom. Boom Ba Doom? Yeah, it's top, top one there. He actually can ra- rap pretty good when he wants to. Like, he doesn't sound as bad as he. Yeah. Like, this one he's actually pretty decent sounding in. Like, he doesn't hit any weird off notes. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's no worse than anybody else. Yeah, like he actually can rap, but he 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 makes some of the stuff sound like shit on purpose, and that's what I like about it. I just think it's fucking uh, hilarious. Yeah, so that's him. Go and check him out. Yeah, GMC faux show. Yeah, faux show. He has a lot of funny stuff. Um, Casey and I are obsessed with this. Yeah, right he's now. just hilarious. He's a genius. But it's actually I I did want to bring him up on the show because. He, he, he's a lot more popular than us, but maybe we can get him a couple more, you know, views or something like that. Because he actually has, like, I think 100,000 subscribers or something, doesn't he? Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. And he sells t-shirts and stuff like that. And it just, it's hilarious. You got to check yeah, it out. Yeah, he has 93,000 subscribers, <laughs> but, you know, still. Yeah. Our audience might not realize that this guy is a fucking goddamn genius. Yeah. He's just, he's awesome. And just just check them out, like we said. Yeah. It don't don't take it seriously. Either. Don't think that you're gonna be listening to this shit in the car on the way to work. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna. It, this is for a laugh. But it's really catchy. I know it is. Like the skating ropes. Like I'll be walking around. Oh, skating ropes. <laughs> I know. Like people are like, why'd you say? I'm like, oh, not nothing. Never mind. <laughs>
<laughs> Brace yourself for another ski. <laughs> That's fucking great. And it's actually funny because if you listen to the actual music of that song, it's really catchy. Mm-hmm. Like whoever produced it, I don't know if he produces his own music or not. Oh yeah, he does his own. Yeah, it was actually really good. It has like a really cool beat. It has like this old like '90s beat to it. Maybe there, there's a song called "I'm the Best." Because <laughs> of course it is, and his voice is actually the the, the beat, mm-hmm. and he's explaining how he made it out of his own voice. I'm the best. 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 All right, so you guys got the idea. He's and, fucking hilarious. And during the video, he's like standing on a car with a naked chick on, and there's some guy doing the Liu Kang bicycle kick across the screen. Which is the, the friend of his that he misses in the other song. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Asian guy. <laughs> uh-huh. In fact, if you watch Raffle Burst, he explains that he has an Asian friend. Oh, he does? Yes. It's no. quite, quite funny. You need an Asian friend. I feel like I need an Asian friend. I had Asian friends, but my Asian friend moved. They all died in car accidents? <laughs> <laughs> no. I had a half Asian friend, I should say. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Her, her name's Momoka. What? Momica, yeah. Momica? Momica. Why don't you momo your ass over here? <laughs> well, anyway, she moved to Houston. She's like a nurse and shit now. Oh, okay. Where, where, did she used to live around here? Yeah, yeah. She yeah. she went to school with us and shit. Oh, okay. Young out with us. Yeah. Was she did was she like really really Asian? Like she looks really Asian, but she spoke perfect English. So she well, was yeah, like she was half American. Asian. Yeah, okay. She's half uh, like Euro mutt, half Asian. Half Euro mutt. <laughs> she she described herself as that, not me. Oh really? Uh, she must have had problems. <laughs> um, I'm not going into it. <laughs> Jay's like I've seen some shit, and that's the funny thing. Like most, I don't really know any Asian women personally, but I know some, and. Asian women are fucking disgusting. <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure they all appreciate your, your opinion on the subject. They probably do. Oh, yeah. She barely looks Asian. Eh, it's a, just a tiny little picture. Yeah. I'm not showing it on the screen because yeah. uh, yeah. I don't know if she watches this show. I didn't get permission. I'm not going to, like... <laughs> Talk about half Asians. <laughs> I already, I, just, I already said too much. So I just, I, like, I talk to this one Asian girl sometimes online, and she just some of the shit she says, like, it's just like what? <laughs> and I just, I think Asians are crazy, man. Asian, especially Asian women. Like a lot of Asian men, they're very calm that I know of because they're too busy doing math homework. But <laughs> <laughs> like some of the shit this Asian girl says, I'm just like what. <laughs> and Yo, like, well, uh, speaking of shit that your friends say you were telling me a story the other day and i said we have got to talk about that and what I was it what the fuck it was what, was this a long time ago i was talking about this or it like was recently? it was literally like three days ago but it happened a long time ago it was some feminist thing that your friend said online some feminist thing. something you're one of your wow people play was it about how tampons are part of the patriarchy? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what it was. Tampons are part of the patriarchy. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that shit about? Uh, she's talking about how <laughs> paying for tampons is sexist and part of the patriarchy to make women less more powerful than men. <laughs> what nonsense is that? I don't fucking know, dude. And that's the thing. Just when you hear stuff like that, you're like, I don't... I just... I give up. <laughs> I give up. I give up, man. I just don't get it. And like, and my whole argument was, men buy condoms. Yeah, it's not really. a part of... This. She goes, I know women that buy condoms. I'm like, I know men that buy fucking tampons for their girlfriends. Like, it, it just, it's just... You know, it was funny. Uh, st- I don't know if I ever told this story before on the show. Uh, I've told it a million times, but I don't know if I ever told it on the show. Uh, one time, my wife was was 
uh, she need she needed tampons, mm-hmm. and she was she gets like bad cramping and shit. So sometimes like during during that time of the month, she's like damn near debilitated. She has bad cramping. I have the just the thing for you. Introducing vagina glue. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, it's not as bad nowadays. But anyway, she used to have it bad. Mm-hmm. I say it like it's a disease. She had the, <laughs> she had the ick. Bleeding and, is a disease. <laughs> anyway, she asked me it's to sickle cell anemia. No, she asked me right. to, to to stop and get her tampons on my way home from work. Now I'm a progressive male, and I think I'm not so easily rattled. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll stop by. I don't give a fuck. I got there, and the aisles are just awash with selections. Yeah, it's like I stood there like a fucking little kid at, at an ice cream shop. What do I get? Yeah, I There's ones with wings. There's ones that look like they're gonna take off. There's <laughs> gonna take off. They're, they're sport ones. There's ones with braided uh, extra protection. They're the there's pearls. One. I don't know how I know that, but I know they're called the pearls. There, there's there's heavy. There's low. There's big. There's little. There's heavy flow. There's light flow. There's these days. There's what the fuck do you want? I had to call her and she had to like describe it. I looked like a fucking retard. I was I was hoping some woman would come into the aisle and be like, I can help you, young sir. Come with me. Let me teach you the ways. I would have made it dramatic. I would have like crawled out of the aisle with like army paint on it. Like, fucking, help me. Send back. Up. Fucking tampon in your teeth. <laughs> yeah, just throw it like a grenade. Like, is this the right one? I know, dude. And it's pretty funny because men that have explained this to women, women actually say this about something that men ask women to get and that i guess is motor oil <laughs> when when a guy goes and asks a woman to get motor oil i guess they feel the same exact way as we do when we're going to get tampons. well if you just would say motor oil then yeah you deserve to be looked at like an idiot is it 10 w30 is it 5 w30 yeah i know you know that, you gotta you gotta specify <laughs> See, that's the thing. We just say tampons, but to them, there's pearls, there's wings. Like you said, there's one. Tampax, Kotex. <laughs> <coughs> Man, just fucking can't do it today. Fucking dying. How much time we got left? Uh, We got a little bit of time left, I think, yeah. We got about 10 minutes left. <coughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell, Casey? <laughs> I don't know. I think, actually, did you? You have allergies, right? Oh, yeah. Did you? feel sick at all yesterday uh actually i didn't feel very very good yet yeah me sue um a bunch of us didn't feel good yesterday and i think it was like the allergies i guess the pollen level was really high last night or mm-hmm. yesterday and it just made everyone sick like i man his head hurt yeah like i felt very nauseated like i just didn't feel right it felt like headed like i thought i was having a stroke but i wasn't that lucky <laughs> <laughs> stop it no I'm tired, not. tired of hearing that shit. I see that shit online with memes and shit. Like, ah, oh, when the school shooter looks at you, then you smile. Like, stop, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. What? Wait, what? Off. Explain yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, on on memes and shit. Everybody like that's the new cool thing to do. Is like, what? oh, I'm suicidal and I want to die. And uh, shut up. I don't. I don't get it. I've been doing that my whole life. <laughs> like, it's not the cool well, thing. Well, now do. it's the cool thing. To I've do. been doing it my whole life. <laughs> With the exception of you, because for I don't want to have to find another co-host. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think it's fun being miserable. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> everybody's out there posting those fucking memes about dying. Just kill yourself. Mm-hmm. Just, just do it. Just drink bleach. I heard it's good for you. <laughs> yeah, it that's what Oh, give me the bleach. Like, shut the fuck up. Well, actually, that did come from someone that killed themselves. <laughs> it was this girl in Canada. Well, I can't lots remember of people it. have committed suicide by drinking I know, bleach. but... She was getting bullied really, really fucking bad. Oh, I know. And everyone was sending pictures of pretending to drink bleach, and she actually did. <laughs> like, <laughs> so well, that's, that's where are that came from. Stupid. I thought it was funny, but whatever. <laughs> of course you did, you sick bastard. Uh, I hope no one ever watches us because <laughs> that's they're just gonna focus on the negative. If you look at our viewer numbers; it's probably pretty close to nobody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But for uh, people you, that do, God bless you. <laughs> God here's bless. what here's one that I want to talk about since we have a little bit of time left. All right, uh, we we mentioned this before, but we're going to talk about it again because the New York Times now has 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 given validity to something I've decided to discuss: shaming children so parents will pay the school lunch bill. Uh, apparently, this is not <laughs> wait, what? an isolated wait, incident. Wait, say this again. Okay, you know how I told you a few years ago, uh, I apparently owed like something like 30 cents. Yes. They weren't even my kids, and it pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, they took my kid's lunch and threw it in the trash. Yeah. 
and then my kid went hungry that day. Well, apparently this is not anything uh, isolated to this yeah. region. I have heard this happens a lot. Uh, I, here, I'll just I'll just read a little bit of the story because why should I do my own work when other people did it for me? <laughs> On the first day of seventh grade last fall, Caitlin Dolan lined up for her lunch at uh, Cannonsburg, PA. Well, apparently it is Pennsylvania. When the cashier discovered she had an unpaid food bill from last year, the tray of pizza, cucumber slices, and an apple and chocolate milk was thrown into the trash. Uh, I was so embarrassed, said Caitlin, who said other students had stared. It's really weird being denied food in front of everybody. They all talk about you. So, I mean, the same thing happened to my kid. They call me for the stupidest shit. Like, you have to understand, this school has called me over the dumbest fucking shit. My kid tripped and skinned her knee or... You know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, hey Jay, uh, get down here real quick. Your kid's being a kid. <laughs> yeah, hold the phone. But God forbid they would call me to say, "Hey, your kid owes thirty cents." Uh, you know, we're gonna like take their lunch away. No, don't take their lunch no, away. They I'll they be right be, down with money. They knew you'd be pissed. That's why they did it. Yeah, well, and you it's know, like you're gonna throw that fucking food away anyways, like you did. So why not just fucking give it to the kid? And if it's this whole thing about oh, if we do it for one kid, we'll have to do it for every kid. Good, do it for everybody. Do it for everybody. And here's another thing: even if you don't want to do that, take the kid aside and be like, hey, you know, you didn't pay anything, but here, take it this time. Just make sure you pay next time. You threw it away. You weren't using the food anyways. Some fucking homeless guy probably wasn't even gonna get it because you buried it probably in the fucking ocean where Tupac was swimming. <laughs> Here's the fucking thing, man. You fucking people that run our schools are pieces of shit. You're <laughs> fucking retarded. I hate all of you. I'm so glad I don't have kids that go to your school. I'm going on a rant because I'm fucking sick of it. Oh, I'm gonna... I don't have fucking kids for these goddamn reasons because these schools are brainwashed pieces of shit. Any decent human being that would take food from a child and throw it away that wasn't a brainwashed machine piece of shit would stop and say, hey... Something's wrong here. Preach on, brother. Something's wrong here. But you fucking Matrix oil fucking moving parts pieces of shit that don't fucking think for themselves. Throw the goddamn fucking food away. You people are stupid. You shouldn't be around kids. You should be around kids more than a fucking child molester. It's ridiculous. You should all be ashamed. Stop going by the fucking book. Think for yourself. You have a brain. Use it. Stop reading fucking manuals and all this bullshit. I'm done. <laughs> that was one of your better rants. I'm gotta... sick of it. <laughs> oh, I'm about to make it worse. Now, now <sighs> I remember we brought this up before when the teacher had actually quit because she was so heartbroken by being forced. Yeah, to do we that. covered that a lot, and that's yes, what I'm talking did. about. That's what I'm talking about. She was like, "That is a real human being. That yeah. is someone that was like, oh, you know, something is wrong." Something is fucking wrong. Right. Well, here's one that's <sighs> even worse. In Alabama, oh, God. a child was stamped on the arm with, I need lunch money. What? Who did it? The well, kids? Well, no. The, 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 that's, that was their punishment. It is a fucking stamper. Look, see? There's a rubber stamper. They literally stamp it on the kid's hand. I need lunch money. What the fuck? What is this, Nazi Germany? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it gets fucking worse. These kids already get made fun of, so you stamp them like they're some fucking Jew in a concentration camp? I just, I'm, I'm out, say it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, dude, I just can't. I, I don't know what to do anymore. And this is why countries fail, because no one questions shit. No one questions anything. They sit there, they drink their As fucking... As a matter of fact, they did question it, bitch, but anyway... Uh, but it happened. Whose idea was that? I Who don't is know. in charge that thought it would be a good idea to mark a kid like a fucking cattle? Here, listen to this. So the guy whose Jesus son comes Christ. home. The guy the, <laughs> <laughs> the guy whose son came home, his name's John Bivens. He didn't think much of the stamp when he first like caught it out of the corner of his eye because it had a smiley face under it and it said, I need lunch. Well, money. that's probably why they did it. He thought it was a good job stamp, right? <laughs> So upon closer look, he realized it was, you know, I need lunch money. And uh, yeah, so typically Bivens said he or his wife receive an email when their son's lunch money account is running low. While he mostly brings his son uh, his lunch from home, the eight-year-old likes to buy ice cream and other treats from the lunchroom on occasion. Bivens said that on the last week of school, his son had a positive balance in his account. After he bought his ice cream, the child still had a balance of $1.38. They heard these kids like cattle, Bivens said. The father said his son was branded. When you start stamping a message on a child's body instead of calling, it's not okay. 
And that's exactly it. It's not okay. They, they, they gave it a name now because once the internet gives it a name, now everybody can rally behind it. <laughs> it's just, called food shaming. And it should be called... It should be given a name. You're a fucking retard. Who? 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 And I'm not an owl. <laughs> who is in who? charge? And who had the fucking idea of doing that? And that's what I'm saying. When you start doing shit like this, your job isn't educating kid kids your job is fucking training kids this sounds like some kind of fucking weird conditioning from a 1984 book it is fucking sick it is so sick and disturbing i'm gonna take this beer bottle and fucking alley fight a scottishman over a soccer game <laughs> i just i just i can't like i'm just lost for words man i just i can't believe someone would do that shit to, to, uh, to a child I just I, and and I just want to make this perfectly clear. Although after I bitched to the superintendents because fuck that shit, uh, they started instituting a policy where you get like a cheese sandwich now. Um, a fucking cheese sandwich. Uh, stop throwing the food away. That's not okay either. Now at least now they give you food, whereas they didn't before. Mm. Um, but it's not okay. It's not okay to do that to the kid. You can't punish the kid because of the parents doing something. And if you do, you know, what is that teaching them? I just, I, I just don't. Like, how, they want you to learn and grow, and you can't do that without a full belly. Plain, plain and simple. You can't concentrate and study when, you, when you're hungry. It just scares me that no one questions it. Oh, everybody's questioning it. I know, but the people that... This kid got a stamp. Who fucking stamped him? You thought the person that stamped they got a them, stamp or you're made. a fucking piece of shit. I don't care if you're a 350-pound man. I want to fight you. <laughs> I want to fight you, and then I'm, after I fight you, and I'm going to fucking beat the fuck out of you, I'm going to eat fucking food over you, and then I'm going to throw it up all over you, and then eat my throw up and throw up again on you, you sick fuck. And that's ah! what I'm saying. People are questioning it. But the real fucking problem is, is the person that was told to stamp that kid didn't question it. And that's the fucking problem. Hey, Who hey, made the stamper? Hey, SS troops, go over there and shoot those Jews. What'd they do? Oh, I don't know. They're Jewish. Oh, okay. You don't fucking question shit. Bad shit happens. Fucking question things. God damn it. <laughs> On that note, I think we're about out of time. Yes, we are. Before I fucking have an aneurysm. <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, go to OpenlyHostileOpinions.com. You can check out all of our show notes. If mm -hmm. uh, you're on a podcatcher that doesn't uh, support the nice formatting I do every week, mm -hmm. um, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Google+, follow us on Facebook. We post all of the relevant links to things we discussed on those platforms. Um, if you want to help us out big time, you can either become a Patreon supporter at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions, or even better buy a t-shirt. Cause we've got some funny ass t-shirts. You can get that on openly hostile opinions.com as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, subscribe to us. If you haven't subscribed to us, uh, make sure you hit the little bell to get notified when we upload a new video, hit that like button. It's a big help to us. We'll see you all next week. Catch you later. Hopefully Casey doesn't have any. <laughs> I'm Jay. Yeah. This is Casey. Yeah, everyone We're everyone. awesome. Feed your kids, you fuckers. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>